Now let's turn to the U.S., where Republicans have given the green light to the Obama administration to borrow money beyond the current legal debt ceiling of 16.4 trillion U.S. dollars for the next four months. This temporary backdown will enable horse trading on deficit reductions without the threat of government default hanging over the heads of the American people. Our Washington correspondent Daniel Rinches reports. The debt ceiling is the legal borrowing limit authorized by Congress to pay for spending. In 2011, Republicans used the threat of not raising it to force budget cuts Democrats found unpalatable. The standoff created a real sense of jeopardy and rattled business confidence. Earlier this month, President Obama made it clear he wasn't going to stand for a repeat. The financial well-being of the American people is not leveraged to be used. The full faith and credit of the United States of America is not a bargaining chip. So now Republicans have backed down, allowing the government to borrow above the $16.4 trillion debt ceiling until mid-May. Republicans are threatening to suspend lawmakers' pay if Senate Democrats don't work to pass a budget by April the 15th, but will be ready to raise the debt ceiling if they do. It's time for us to come to a, uh, a plan that will in fact balance the budget over the next 10 years. On March the 1st, there's a deadline for the sequester, meaning $1.2 trillion in across-the-board budget cuts if Congress can't agree on an alternative. It's a blunt instrument hitting the defense industry hardest. It's taking a meat axe and slicing off a large, I think it's something like 7 plus percent of defense spending. Republicans say they might be willing to delay the sequester if a deal isn't reached. Instead, they may work on a March 27th date for authorizing a budget for the 2013 financial year. I don't think there's a grand moment because these two parties can't quite figure out the terms on which they're going to agree. Republicans want deep cuts to costly social spending programs and no more tax increases. Most Democrats want almost the opposite. So in Washington, there will be continued uncertainty about whether the two sides can bridge the divide as they use short-term deadlines to try to achieve painful long-term decisions. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV, Washington.